There's one last quarterback situation I want to hit you on before I let you go, which is fascinating mm-hmm. to me, and 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 uh, there's not much talk about it because we're all focused on that bright, shiny object called the Lombardi Trophy that Tom Brady talked about with James Corden, and I'm going to hit that later on in this show. Uh, is New England's? Uh, you know, what what does what are they going to do, man? I mean, are they going to really draft a quarterback uh, first round? Is it, is it possible that Jimmy G could shake loose and there's a reunion or? Alex Smith. Yeah. I mean, what what are their plans? Cam resigned. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, thinking so I, I think if Jimmy G were to come available, they would absolutely have an have, have an interest. Um, you know, and, and I'm sure you guys have talked about it on the show. I just don't think that happens unless the Niners have a clear upgrade. And I'm not saying they're married to Jimmy G, but you know, I mean, absent like Deshaun, maybe they fall in love with somebody. You know, in the draft, like I've heard Trey Lance from North Dakota State. Mm. Is a is a very would be a very strong fit for Kyle's offense. So maybe it's somebody like that. You know, the trouble is for New England is can you wait for that? You know what I mean? Like can you wait for the night? It's, it's like say Watson comes available in April. Say you know you say it's one of the guys in the draft, and you know you have to wait until after the Niners figure out if they're going to get their guy or not. Like can you afford to to wait that long um, and leave your quarterback situation unaddressed, which is sort of what put them in the position last year where they were signing Cam Newton on July 1st. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I think that that's the, the timing part of this. And this applies to a lot of teams, by the way, the timing part of this um, and what they want to do is, is, is absolutely a factor. And so it, it, it wouldn't surprise me if they bring back Cam on a cheap contract and they have another veteran there, whether it's a Ryan Fitzpatrick or a Marcus Mariota or whatever, and then they continue evaluating the quarterbacks in the draft. And again, like I think if Jimmy were to come available tomorrow, yes, absolutely, they would go go and do something like that. But I think the more likely scenario right now would be maybe to throw a couple veterans at the position, continue to do your evaluation of all the guys in the draft, and you know who knows, maybe one of them falls to you in 15, at fifteen. Maybe you see somebody you like enough to to move up. Um, but I think for right now, you know, the Patriots are going to be very aggressive at some other positions, and it wouldn't surprise me if they just try to give themselves a couple of veteran options to tread water with for the time being. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.